Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. And I'm Johnny Terry. And welcome to another free episode of the Roy Rogers Television Show. You remember when you were uh, just a small tyke and you sat in front of the television with your six guns, and when Roy needed your help, you were ready. Well, the only manufacturer at this time of American-made Western toy cap guns is Wild West Toys. And you can shop with Wild West Toys online at www.toyguntown.com. And if you've got kids or grandkids that love to watch Roy Rogers, arm them with some six guns so they can help Roy when he needs it. Ours are the best in the West. Diecast metal and Texas tough. Come by and shop with us. But before you do, here comes Roy. Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. <laughs> well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. something tree. What do you suppose it is? Maybe it's a bobcat. Oh, I don't think so. Let's go see. Well, that sounded like a 22 to me, Dale. Pull it! Come here, boy! Stay here, Dale. I'm going over there and take a look. Come on down. Come on, woman. You give me back my rifle. Now, wait a minute. You shouldn't go around shooting at people, especially at a woman and a dog. That isn't fair, is it? I fired that shot in the air. I was just trying to scare you. And besides, anyway, this here is private property. Nobody's allowed on it. <laughs> Looks to me like you and I better have a little talk. You give me my rifle first. Oh, no, I think I'll keep it for a little while. Well, what have we got here, a squirrel hunter? Yeah, but seems as though we're on private property. Oh? What's your name, son? Well, I guess he hasn't got a name. Or a tongue, either. Hmm. Reckon that's how that squirrel rifle belongs to us now. Any man can't identify himself sure can't identify his property, can he? Who says I can't identify myself? My name's Jiggers. Jiggers Wiley. Well, that's more like it, Jiggers. I want you to meet Dale Evans. Hi, Jiggers. This is my dog, Bullet. <laughs> I'm Roy Rogers. Howdy. Now can I have my rifle back? Oh, just a minute. Dale, don't you think it's about time we ruffled up some grub? Oh, yes, I do. Let's see. We got some nice cold chicken in the saddlebags and some cake. Oh, yeah, and some of those bars of that delicious chocolate. Well, uh, do you suppose we have enough for a guest? Maybe. He doesn't eat too much. I won't eat too much. I promise. <laughs> okay, Jiggers. Now, here's what you do. First thing, go down to the stream. Yes, ma'am. And wash your face and hands. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Isn't he a cute youngster? <laughs> he sure is. Another piece of cake, Jiggers? No, thanks, ma'am. One more bite, you'd be coming out of my ears. <laughs> Another cup of coffee, Roy? Thanks, Dale. I've had enough. How you feeling, Jiggers? Well, I feel fine. Not that I ain't saying anything against my squirrels, too. I sure like my squirrels, too. And sometimes they get a little bit too much of it. Not enough chocolate and chicken, is that it? <laughs> no, sir. I don't think I could ever get enough of that. Now, suppose you tell us what a little boy like you is doing way out here in the woods with a squirrel rifle so far from home. Oh, I'm not so far from home. Where do you live? 
nearby. You have any parents? No, I'm an orphan. Who takes care of you? I got an uncle. Where is he? Oh, he's right nearby. Maybe you better take Dale and me over to meet him. No, he's not very sociable. Oh, that's all right. We're used to folks who aren't sociable. Jiggers, according to the law, you're too young to be carrying a squirrel rifle. So we're going to have to turn it over to your uncle. And if you want it back, you'd better take us to him. But suppose I can't take you to meet him. Then we'll have to take you to Mineral City with us and let the sheriff look into things. No, not the sheriff. Please don't take me to the sheriff. Well, not if you do as Bry says. Just take us to meet your uncle, that's all. Well, all right. But like I told you, he ain't sociable. Don't you worry about us. We can take care of ourselves, and we can take care of you, too. Just lead us to him. Hey, would you like to ride on Trigger? No, it ain't far enough to ride. This dog here is foot. He'd like to fetch things like sticks and stones. Oh, sure, he's a great retriever. He'll run after anything. Why don't you try him? Here, bullet, fetch! <laughs> See, I told you. Good boy, Bullet. Can I try it again? Sure, there's nothing Bullet likes more than retrieving. Well, he'll play with you all day long if you'll let him. Here, Bullet. Fetch it now. Fetch it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of that? Hey, Jiggers, where are you? He's gone, Dale. Well, where'd he go? Jiggers! Jiggers, where are you? Oh, but don't go. That's what I was thinking, too. You know he rigged this whole thing so the bullet wouldn't be around to keep him from getting away? That's right. He's a pretty smart kid. Do it for his own good. There's something wrong here, Dale. I know it. You know, he loves this rifle more than anything in the whole world. Yet he was willing to run away and leave it. Yeah, and after he'd just gotten the best meal he said he ever had. We gotta get to the bottom of this, Roy. We have to find him first. Here, Bullet. Find Jiggers. <laughs> Please, Uncle Jasper, don't shoot at him. They're my friends. Your friends? I told you I didn't want anybody here. Shooting at us again. I'm afraid it isn't him this time, Dale. Give him a chance to go away. They won't come back. Tell him to get out. Who are these newfangled friends of yours that you're so worried about? It's Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Well, that's just fine. Roy Rogers, the biggest snoop in the valley. Why, you. Let me yell at him. You stay put. There's one thing we don't want is them snooping around. We better get rid of them fast. Well, ain't that what I'm trying to do with this? I hadn't done it, and I can't get a shot at him. Echo Rock's right behind us. Why don't you yell down? Tell him to get out and stay out. Maybe that'll be warning enough. Good. Keep a hold of him. Well, they've stopped shooting. You think they've gone? I don't know. I haven't even seen them yet. You two down there! Clear out and stay out! I'm giving you your last warning! This is private property! Where'd that come from? Clear out and stay out! I know one thing for sure. We're not wanted here. No, and I wonder why. There's a lot of things we have to wonder about. Yeah, that little boy was scared to death of something. Yes, he was. Seemed like he wanted to tell me something, but he didn't dare. We better ride back to Mineral City and do a little thinking about this. Yeah, and this is going to take some figuring. I'm going to do it. No, I reckon I better not. It might be foolish. But I've wanted to all of my life. There's a lot of folks that have wanted to, too. By gosh, I'm going to do it. But then if I did do it, people might think I'm crazy. And if I didn't, I might feel like I'm scared. Scared? Of what? I might find something new. Like the fellow who discovered gravitation when the apple fell on his head. Nobody can say I'm scared of nothing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to see what it's like. Wait a minute, Pat. Don't do that. Have you gone plumb low, Cole? Huh. Hey, I reckon I have. With eggs costing what they do, and you were going to throw one in a fan? 
Oh, well, Dale, it was only an experiment. You see, there's a lot of folks that have wanted to do this all of their lives, but nobody's had the gall. I think I'll get some coffee. Thanks, Dale. I could use a cup. What's the matter? Anything wrong? Now, listen. Don't you worry about me. I wasn't going to do it. I'm okay. Honest, I am. I'm not worried about you, Pat. I'm worried about a little 10-year-old boy who disappeared. We're also worrying about being ambushed and about a voice that yelled at us down at Indian Gap. Oh. Well, I'll be doggone. Who's loco now? Take Jiggers into the shack. Right? We got to go in the mine a minute. Wish I had my squirrel gun. You're getting us in enough trouble without that. Come on, hurry it up. All right, Jasper. Hi, how are you doing? I got them working all right. That's sure high-grade ore they're digging out. Yeah, it's so rich around here, you could dig it out with your fingernails. Looks like we might have a little trouble, though. What's the matter? Oh, that nephew of mine, he went squirrel hunting. Flushed out a couple of squirrels, it's liable to cause us some trouble. I want you to make these diggers work harder. We may have to get out of here, but quick. Well, I'll get after them. But look at them. They're half starved. You should have sent one of us into Mineral City for supplies instead of depending so much on hunting. Listen, Halsey, I still run this outfit. When you get out of here, you'll have enough to take care of yourself for a long, long time. And don't forget it. Well, at least we've still got a couple of cans of beans left. You squawking about food, too? Well, who wouldn't squawk? You know, we ain't exactly had it flush around here. You and Halsey got the brains of mice. You know that we can't send anybody down to Mineral City to stock up on supplies. <laughs> Taking high-grade ore out of government land. Not only that, we're using free labor. What are you trying to do, attract the attention of the authorities to us? Or would you just as soon tighten up your belt and make off with a fortune? No, I guess I can afford to starve a little longer. And you? I want you to stay in this cabin, do you understand me? Yes, Uncle Jasper. Anyway, I lost my squirrel rifle. Well, now it's just as well that you did. I don't want you wandering off anymore. We'll all be leaving here soon. Go on, wash your face and hands. Told him to stay in that cabin. He's up to something. You reckon he's trying to run away? If he is, I'll beat the stuffing on him. Come on. your uncle doing here that's got you so worried? Well, if you have to know, he's mining gold. Oh, so that's it. 
Where are the natives that were here? What happened to them? Put your hands up, Roger. Well, so you're trying to get information out of my nephew. Well, you're going up to the cabin. You'll get all the information you're looking for. And as for you, I'll give you the whipping of your life. Indian Gap, and I got caught, too. The little Jigger got me out of it. That was lucky. When'd you find out? Just as I suspected. Jigger's uncle and some other men are operating a mine up there, and they told me it was private property. But I checked with the county recorder, and it's federal property. That's why they're trying to keep people away. And another thing, there's some natives up there, and I think they're being forced to work the mine. Come to think of it, I used to see them come in for supplies once in a while, and they haven't been in town lately. Because they're being held prisoner. They took my guns away, but I'll pick up my spares and go back up there. I'm going with you. Pat, do you think you can stay here a while and refrain from tossing the eggs in the electric fan? Well, now, wait a minute. Are you two going off alone again? We have a little business to tend to, Pat. Well, it ain't fair. Nella Bell ain't had no errand in a long time, and come to think of it, neither have I. And besides, I'm not too sure about my control. What do you mean? Well, there's no telling what might happen if you leave me alone here with all them eggs in that electric fan. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're either going to have to take the fan day or Pat. Well, I ain't leaving you no choice. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in a couple of minutes, Roy. Okay. Jasper. Roger's got away. Oh, looks like he got hold of a knife somehow. Cut the ropes. It wasn't Jiggins? I don't see how it could be. I've been watching him every minute. He'll be riding up here with the sheriff and the posse. You better go in there and tell Halsey to hurry things along. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Get 
Did you give Roger the knife? No, I didn't give him anything. You're a pretty sneaky little whelp. Roger's getting the wage guard caused us all a lot of trouble. And that means you, too. If the sheriff comes up here, he's going to take you and put you in a reform school. Would you like that? No, Uncle Jasper. Well, why don't you do what I tell you to do? Now, you keep looking out of the window. You see anybody suspicious coming up the trail? You'd better let me know or it'll be your hide. Yes, Uncle Jasper. I'll tell you. Be sure you do. back into that cabin and stay there like I told you. Well? You little one. Hey, Nate, come here. You saw him all the time and you wouldn't tell me. Get into that cabin and stay there. Take a look down there. We can't let them get up here. Shall I get hold of it? No, we can't trust those natives. Nobody guarding them. They'll run away. You and I'll have to attend to this. Come on. afford to miss. Don't worry, we won't. Look at that dirty little double crosser. He's gonna try and warn the others, but this time he won't make don't it. Don't shoot. You do you warn the others. If I don't, he'll warn them anyway. Now we'll never get that ore on. We shut him up once and for all. Cover me. Right. Keep your head down, Jiggers.
Yeah, me too. Now, if I only had my rifle, I'd be happy. Well, how about this one? A little grown up. Do you think you can handle it? Yeah, I think I can handle it. I think you can too, Jiggers. I know it. There's another one of my uncle's men up in the camp. His name's Halsey. He's guarding a native. Well, I don't think we'll have any trouble with him now that we have Jiggers here as reinforcements. How about that, partner? I reckon not, partner. This episode of the Roy Rogers Television Show, starring Roy Rogers and Dell Evans and Trigger and Buttermilk. We appreciate you. We hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Wild West Toys One, and we hope you'll come back and see us. Uh, we plan on posting lots of westerns. We've got tons of them to post. And if you feel like it, shoot us an email or comment on one of our westerns. Thanks again. Come by and see us at ToyGunTown.com, and we hope to see you again on down the trail.